They didn't want uh, minorities to get the impression that that was the way of dealing with some of the problems. Now, that's the way countries all over the world deal with problems. But they didn't want us to get the idea. They wanted us also to feel inferior, less than men, because they know that men will stand up and fight, that men will fight for their rights and for their families and for their homes in defense of their homes. But we were supposed to be less than men. The next thing is that what is not commonly known is that the deacons of self-defense from uh, Monroe, Louisiana, and uh, also that the, all of the radical groups, even uh, SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, the Panthers, they all got their inspiration from Monroe. It, that's documented in my FBI files. But uh, nobody wanted to say this. They didn't want to give us credit for this type of thing. The next thing is that you have the situation of other groups that resorted to some form of violence, lost people. It's like a situation in Chicago where they broke into the house with the Panthers sleeping and they just wiped out a number of them. But we never lost anybody. That some of our people shot other people. Just don't seem to be as free as people claim freedom to be. Things are going fast to have found that all's in the past. To have to take what you can get sure can make a heart upset. Indispensable. The way they deal in fear, all kinds of things. So. When I got control of the NACC, the organizer, I appointed these veterans. I knew that veterans had been trained to do things if they had the leadership. But the only thing was missing was the leadership. So we got 200 people under arms and even folks, the clan. And they didn't show a bit of fear. Not a bit. And sometimes I found out how deep this feeling is running with some young people. Sometimes at night the guys would sit around and they would say, Brother Rob, do you think they're coming tonight? And I would say, no. And they would say, well, they're coming. I said, because we're here. That's why they're not coming. We had dug foxholes, we had steel helmets, we had the first Molotov cocktail. And they had all kind of military equipment, sandbags we had put up. Come. Yeah, they did come once, but they didn't get in. Oh, well, there was a shootout. And they left there running from the black community. The problem was that uh, 18 black women had been struck on the street with parties of cars that might be passing throughout these objects. So the black people, ministers, had been up and they were begging the officials to stop these people from making these forays into our community. And uh, officials told the black ministers that they had as much right for the Klan to organize as for our communist NAACP. So we asked the preachers, please don't go back anymore. We'll take care of it. So they had struck 18 women. So finally we got our Bible club. I got a charter from the National Rifle Association. I had been in the Marine Corps and I found out that civilians could get charters. We got a charter. We dressed up the occupations and made them think that we were white people. It's like a cook became a rest a restaurant tour. Brick Mason became a construction owner. And we just changed the occupations and they gave us a charter and we had to pay a charter for that. Uh, county from uh, National Rifle Association. So that gave us the right also to get some of the arms that we use. So as a result,
funky. 